Welcome back for some more mental fitness training. My name is Brandon Epstein. I am your head mental fitness trainer here. And today I'm gonna to be giving you some mental preparation techniques to use in your first fight. Now I know from personal experience, before you're going into your first fight, there's a lot of nerves, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of fear, and all that's completely natural. It's part of the process. And so throughout this video, I'm just gonna show you exactly how to train your mind to get ready for this fight. So when the moment comes and you're actually in the ring and you're fighting, you're gonna be composed, you're gonna be at peace, you're gonna be powerful, you're gonna be aggressive, and ready to execute your game plan. So one thing I wanna mention before I get into this is to just thank all of you who are tuning into these videos consistently. Uh, obviously, I don't have the most pro setup yet for my videos, but I am in the process. So you guys will see in the coming weeks and months, I'm gonna have a pretty dope setup. I'm excited to share that with you guys. Uh, but the content's always gonna be money, it's always gonna be on point. And so let's dive into it. The first thing you need to do before your first fight is make sure you're physically ready which means you need to build that mind-body connection. Now, a lot of people feel a lot of anxiety and uncertainty around fighting, especially if they don't have a lot of experience because they haven't grooved those neural pathways enough to know how to just act, how to just fight in the moment without having to think about it. So what I mean by this is that someone who gets enough repetitions in, if you have enough practice, then when you're in the moment, you don't have to think to yourself, throw this punch, uh, block here. It's really happening more on the subconscious level. You're able to drop into a flow state and just execute. So the only way to get yourself to that point is by putting in considerable amount of practice. So really work on improving your skill as a fighter. So if you're a boxer or an MMA fighter, whatever type of fighting you're gonna do, when you go into that first fight, you're able to just let your skills and your hard work just do the work because you've already trained your body and your mind so when you're in there, it's almost on automation. Gotta go through my notes here. No editing, guys. We're going live, live. Uh, yeah, and so with that, a lot of people wonder, well, how do I get my confidence up? How do I feel more confident before my first fight? And it really comes down to experience. Confidence comes through experience. So make sure if you're a boxer, for example, that you have plenty of sparring before your first fight because all that sparring is gonna help build your confidence for when you actually are in that big moment and you need to just go. All right, if you guys wanna learn more about practice and skill acquisition, I'll throw a video up here where I talk deeper on this topic. The second thing is you need to surrender the outcome. Now, what you need to understand, there's only two things in the world that you can really control, your focus and your choices. So whether you're gonna win the fight or not is not actually under your control. You're in control of focusing, so staying present in the moment, not worrying about the future, not stressing about something that happened in the past, but being present. So you can control that focus and then your choices. So all those choices are basically gonna happen leading up to the fight. Did you do every single thing in your power to put yourself in the best possible position to perform well? And only you know that and that's all you have responsibility for, focus and choices. All right, what else we got here? Uh, so one thing that I did in my fight that you could do, you could not do, it's up to you. One thing that I wanted to do was go through a bit of an ego death before my first boxing fight. And so what I did was actually visualize myself losing. And so I could see that sometimes we build it up as something worse than it actually is. So I saw myself losing, I experienced that, I internalized that, had that kind of ego death. And then from there, I only did positive visualization going forward. So just going through that process of being like, you know, it's not gonna be as terrible as you think it is if you do lose, it kind of frees you up to, to not put energy into, you know, oh my God, am I gonna lose or worrying about that? Instead, you can just like surrender that and just go execute. So that's something I did. If you find that helpful, definitely try it out. But after you go through that one ego death, only repeat that positive visualization going forward after that. The third thing you wanna do is visualize. And so you wanna visualize dominating the fight and seeing yourself in first and third person, experiencing with all five senses, seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing, touching, with complete vivid sensation. You want it to feel as real as possible. And do this as much as you can. Watch yourself dominate the fight. See yourself executing the game plan that you put together and see yourself winning dominantly. 
Okay, the more reps that you get within your mind, the more confidence you're gonna build because your, your subconscious mind is gonna believe that you've already won this fight so many times. By the time you get into the ring, you actually have your fight, it's gonna, your subconscious is gonna be like, oh yeah, we've been here before. And you're gonna feel more confident in the present moment. So really important, visualize. Get your visualization down. Uh, I also made a video teaching you how to do more in-depth visualization. I will throw up there. The fourth thing you want to do is align your beliefs with your ideal outcome. I'm assuming your ideal outcome is to win this fight. So make sure that all your beliefs align with it. If you don't believe you deserve this fight, or say if you don't believe you deserve to win this fight, or if you don't believe that you deserve to dominate, or if you don't believe in yourself and your own ability, you can't expect to win this fight. So I highly recommend going through the beliefs that you need to win this fight. Some beliefs would be like, I believe I'm a world-class boxer. I believe I deserve to win. I believe I'm unstoppable. Getting these beliefs, recording them on audio and listening to them every morning when you're waking up and every night before you go to sleep is gonna help seep that even deeper into your subconscious so all your beliefs align with the outcome that you want, okay? And beliefs are tricky. You may not know that a lot of limiting beliefs even exist, so try to uncover them. If you're ever not feeling good, ask yourself, why am I not feeling good about boxing right now? What kind of anxiety do I have? And what am I believing that's making me feel anxious? And I made a video, I guess I'll throw that up there as well, which goes deeper into beliefs, but make sure you align your beliefs with what you want to have happen. The final thing is going to be focusing on the present moment. Because ideally when you're in a fight, you wanna drop into a flow state experience and that's something you need to allow to have happen and to allow it to happen, you need to be in the present. You can't be thinking about the past or the future. You need to be here right now. And so before your fight, so you don't like burn yourself out, just worrying about what's gonna happen, stressing about the fight, just use your breath and get in a cycle of just breathing in deeply through your nose, out through your mouth, and just focusing on that cycle of breath and staying in that present moment. And by doing so, you're gonna be down-regulating your nervous system and keeping yourself calm before the fight. A lot of people blow their load before the fight. They get too hyped up. You don't wanna be hyped until it's game time, until you're gonna fight. So down-regulate your nervous system with these deep, slow, long breaths before the fight. And if you're right before the fight and you're like, okay, now it's time to go, gotta turn it on, and you're not feeling that aggressiveness, then use uh, your breath to upregulate your nervous system. And you can do that by just bringing your chin down to your your uh, chest here and then breathing rapidly and shallow through your nose like this. And by doing that, you're gonna upregulate your nervous system. So you're gonna go from that peaceful state to like aggressive, fight or flight, let's go. And that's what you need when you're gonna fight. So all these techniques though, really get you in the present moment and that's where you wanna be so you can drop into that flow state. All right, bonus. Needless to say, you guys, the final thing I'll say, I guess, is that you gotta put in the physical work. You could do all this mental training, but if you're not training your physical body, if you don't have the, the skills to fight, whether you're a boxer, or MMA fighter, or whatever, if you haven't done the work, none of this stuff matters. Basically, this mental training is gonna take you and someone else who both train the same amount physically and put you ahead above them. So you will dominate the person that trained the same amount as you did. But if you are not doing the physical training, then you guys might end up equal or you might end up you know, below them. So make sure that you're doing the physical training, everything you can physically, and then stacking this mental training on top of it so you absolutely dominate this fight. So I wish you all the best of luck. Hopefully you don't even need it now because you have all the mental tools in your upcoming fight. Hit me up. Let me know how it goes. If you watch this and you execute on what I'm sharing with you, drop your comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, I'm Brandon Epstein. Thanks for checking out my channel. And if you want some deliberate training to get your mind completely in alignment with everything you want to create in your life, the way you feel, the way you behave, the way you create everything in the world, if you want help with this, if you want to become a conscious creator, I have a mental fitness training app and I've linked it up in the description below. You can try the free three-day mental strength course and see if you want to dive into the deeper content because it's really powerful work if you're ready to do the work and commit to transform your life. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video.